Today we're visiting Raglan Castle. The current Raglan Castle is a late medieval affair dating from between the 15th and early 17th centuries. The ruling families of the Herberts and the Somersets built what was a luxurious fortified castle. It is a large hexagonal keep known as the Great Tower or the Yellow Tower of Gwent. The castle was surrounded by parkland with water gardens and terraces. During the English Civil War, the castle was held on behalf of Charles I and was taken by parliamentary forces in 1646. In the aftermath, the castle was slighted or put deliberately out of military use. After the restoration of Charles II, the Somersets declined to restore the castle. Raglan Castle became first a source of local building materials, then a romantic ruin. There are parts of it you get the angle just right, that look like they might be straight out of a brochure to promote Venice. There are really nice crumbly buildings overlooking this moat, and the moat is a really interesting shape. It goes round the base of the Great Tower, and there's a doorway that you can walk down to the moat side. It's a pretty impressive place. Pretty and impressive. So I'm now standing in the courtyard. It took me a little while to get to here because the outside was so spectacular. There's a lot to see and it's very, very pretty and very, very photogenic. The courtyard here, it's quite unusual to see one that's still cobbled. And not only that, but you can see the drainage ditch that goes all the way around the outside. And there's still quite a lot of the foundations left of the buildings around the outside of it as well. Not only that, but it's interesting to see the different styles from the windows and the doors because they all kind of look like they've been built at different times. You've got a lot of different styles in one very small area. Back in the 16th century, if you were of the noble variety of person and you wanted to get a bit of exercise but the weather was somewhat inclement, there weren't that many options available to you. You couldn't go outside with an umbrella because nobody had invented one yet and there wasn't much in the way of waterproof clothing. So instead, if you were ridiculously wealthy, then what you could do is you could come along to Raglan Castle and you could walk up and down the long gallery. This is really what people used to do to get a bit of exercise. It was nice and long, so you would walk up and down, you would have a little bit of polite conversation, look at the paintings hanging on the wall, admire the mouldings around the fireplace, and then look out of the window above me. You can just see what remains of it. There's an awful lot of it gone, but that is where you would stand to look out at the beautiful countryside. And down below you, you'd be able to see the water gardens and the ornamental lake. So, you know, if you're really posh, go for a walk inside. This room is just chocker full of fireplaces and weirdly the ones further up there have still got their mouldings on which is fascinating because you can actually see the work done on them. They might have been more ornate but you can see the gist of what was there and it is beautiful work. That castle wouldn't be complete without somewhere to store your grub and this is of course that. This is the cellar. You can tell it's the cellar because it's got a good echo. See? So this is the kitchen. There's a fireplace there. There's a fishy cookie thing there. It's a kitchen. They cooked things here. Looks like I found the library. Not real books though. It's a bit of an oddly arranged castle this because you've got the main living quarters over there. And then here, you've got the central defensive structure, which would have been cut off by the drawbridge. So the thing is, if you were wanting to attack the big G's, you'd have to come in through this really narrow entranceway. Clever design, and apparently it's quite rare in the UK. It's quite a long trek up to the top of the tower and it means that from the very top of the thing you can see a really long way around in every direction, meaning that you really can keep an eye on 
what your enemies are up to and who's trying to creep up on you, but it also means that you've got several stories that you can live in while you're under siege. And it all looks rather luxurious as well. Lots and lots of fireplaces and, you know, plenty of room. We're a nice place to live, I reckon. As you can see, it's quite some view up here, and that's great if you don't have a problem with heights. Did I mention I've got a slight problem with heights? Actually, it's not the heights that's the problem, it's the looking down and, and that thought going through your mind that I might drop off here in a minute. And ugh. Besides that, if you don't have a massive problem with heights, come up here if you're going to visit, because I can see for miles. And this is Wales, so it's all very pretty. I mean, it really is stunning. 